it was the legendary American singer-songwriter and record producer who once said, Throughout my career, I have performed with many of the most accomplished singers, songwriters and musicians of our time. I consider Rosa Goodman's daughter to be an exceptionally talented performer who falls into this elite category of singers, songwriters and musicians. I'm passionate about, about being passionate. I'm passionate about spirituality. I'm passionate about helping other people. That fills me up inside, knowing that I'm of use to uh, earth, to people, to society, to other people, to my closest environment. I want to help the world. I mean, I'm an idealist, a hopeless I idealist. I found what me. I rode the cars and the ten and the bars. Vegan singer-songwriter Rosa Goodman's daughter was born and raised in the Westman Islands off the coast of Iceland. Her father is an accomplished organist and headmaster of the Westman Islands Music School. Her mother is from Thailand, the first Thai-born citizen of Iceland by marriage. Rosa showed her musical gift early on, playing piano at age four. Um, I started playing the classical piano and the recorder when I was a little girl. Um, my father is the headmaster of the music school on the island I was born, south coast of Iceland. He's a classically trained musician, so he put me in music very young, and, um, and I excelled at, at classical piano as a child, and then I also played the violin. By the time she was 15, Rosa was performing on national television. But while her classical training nourished her heart, the Carpenters and Madonna also were her inspirational heroes. Still in her teens, Rosa played keyboards and sang backup vocals for the techno group Dancing Mania. She soon won fame as a promoter entertainment director from 1998 to 2000, producing exciting shows that brought in the top musical acts from around the globe. Rosa then became a national cultural phenomenon as a producer and host of her own television series in 2000. Iceland's media were thrilled about her, a beauty who spoke her mind and stirred up discussions often on ideas ahead of her time. Part of her strong personality could be attributed to her Icelandic heritage. We're strong people, we're hard-working people and we're also um, nature activists and uh, we really are connected generally to our, our, the earth. There's so, much, there's so much power of nature there, like, you know, geysers and glaciers and volcanoes. I grew up with two volcanoes up my street, by the way. There's a lot of energy in Iceland. Just the, the beauty, the nature, the energy, the activeness, I guess, you know? Clean air, clean water, a very pure country. <laughs> peak of her successful television career in 2001, Rosa decided it was time to focus on songwriting. Music? I can't even, I can't see myself living, living without it. I'm here uh, on an artist visa and I'm pursuing my career here in, in New York uh, as a songwriter. I remember writing music when I was 12, but, um, but I have been uh, professionally writing music, like real songs, um, since uh, around age 20. Manhattan, Rosa writes the music and lyrics for all the songs that are then performed with her exceedingly talented all-women band, The Ultratite. Carolyn Morosi from New Jersey, USA is on lead guitar. Anne Lieberwerth from Germany is the bassist and Vet Scott from Brooklyn, New York is on drums. Combining pop, rock and soul, they illuminate every stage with fresh energy and virtuoso technique. to start a female band. I just want to show that women can also play tight and, you know, play, you know, good, like the guy. It sounded original, it came, came across authentically, so why not Rosa and the ultra tight? <laughs> we play ultra tight. It's natural to laugh in the rain. Oh, 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 now I know. It's natural to laugh in the rain. Come on, girl. 
what inspires you in your writing process? Usually love, heartbreak, um, also joy, and um, human relations in, in any form, feelings, deep feelings, uh, catalyst feelings in my life, deep sadness, um, sorrow, loneliness. I have to be inspired. I can like strategically sit down and write like a song about anything and whatever. I have the, that ability, but that's not like a true heart song. A true heart song comes, I channel it, and I thank God for that gift. That's not from Rosa. That's something, that's a calling. I literally sometimes wake up with a melody in my head, it's, and I just lay and I listen to my head play something to me. And uh, sometimes I get words that resonate with me, like love deficiency. I wrote those lyrics first, and then the song around it. Love Deficiency I wrote after, I was in LA uh, for a work trip 11 years ago, 2000. I'm sober now and I live a very healthy lifestyle and back then I was crazy and you know, a party girl and whatever. But my writing, some of it is very deep, even though I was young and I was still in that life. So I, I obviously was contemplating spirituality and the deeper meaning of life. So Love Deficiency is about that, like, you know, what do I lack? Why am I chasing all of this, you know? Is it love that I lack? The lyrics in Move Higher, it's not Move Higher in a building, but Move Higher as a, as a person, evolve and uh, become spiritually enlightened and be responsible of your life and take chances, you, this is your life. So it's a very positive message. I guess um, I want to change the world. I, I'm old-fashioned that way. I want to change the world. I want to continue saying my message about um, bettering the earth, changing our ways without forcing it upon anyone. Just um, I want to present it. For example, how veganism has changed my life and bettered my health. It's um, lightened my my conscious. I can't explain it. It's just you know I feel like a different person today. I'm a vegan and I'm a proud vegan and I love this place. This is one of my favorite restaurants actually, The Loving Hut. The food here is excellent. I come here from, for, for the food and I, I've brought many people in here and they have excellent food and a lot of selection and every dish is, is yummy and healthy and I love it. I got sober eight years ago from, from a party lifestyle. I started running and becoming athletic and started to do yoga and swim and all of that. And I started to think about my diet and what I was eating. So what made me vegan was a story about a woman. She was talking about this little chick she held in her her hand and she just all of a sudden connected that this little chick had a heartbeat. The, the tiny little heartbeat inside. And I was reading that story and I was just like, do you know what? When I was a little girl, I never wanted to eat animals. I never, it wasn't my decision, but I was raised in a home. I, I eat what I have to eat. You know, I have no saying when I'm three, four, but I remember as a little girl, I did never want to eat animals. And I connected back with those are living beings. They have their own families, they give their own milk to their creatures, mammals, obviously, but, you know, and I'm here and I've never been healthier, and I run very fast, I'm very athletic, God forbid, I, I don't get, you know, sick, you know, if I get sick, I get so, uh, you know, healthy quickly, and I get over it quickly, and I just feel lighter, and also, consciously, I feel lighter as a vegan. Do you promote veganism with your music? Absolutely. I mean, 
I do, I do it wherever I am in my life, basically, and I partake in, you know, vegan outreaches here and there, and hopefully as my influence gets bigger in the world, I will be the Oprah of veganism, you know. You also link to thegoodhuman.com, which encourages people to be better inhabitants of the earth. We need to not drown our earth in filth, first of all. It's time to clean up the earth. We're so abusing this planet that we share with other living beings, you know? And, and the animal industry alone picks up so much, you know, of energy and, and food, and it's just become so deteriorated, and it's horrible. I can't even tell you how I feel about that. You know? um, who inspires you in life? People that are making a difference in this world. Uh, obviously, everyone can make a difference, uh, individual effort. Madonna inspired me in, in the past because she 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 uh, printed it in my brain to follow my dream. So um, I thank her for that. Um, classical composers Bach, Beethoven, Rachmaninoff, Chopin, all of these men that channeled so much beauty into the world, so uh, undistracted by technology, they inspire me. And people who make a difference, veganism and activists. And Rosa Goodman's daughter's wish is that we'd all be inspired to help build a better tomorrow on Earth. It's peace, love, go vegan. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, be kind to Earth. Make that change, you know, it's time. I mean, live a responsible life. Um, live like there's no tomorrow. Take the actions that you need to take today. Many thanks and love, Rosa, for your inspiring music and important messages about following our heart and living harmoniously on the planet. We especially appreciate your outspoken advocacy of the eco-conscious, healthy and joyful vegan diet. With best wishes to you and the fabulous, the ultra-tight ladies for ever more success in your endeavours. Rosa and the Ultra Tights music is available at www.rosagoodmansdaughter.com and www.reverbnation.com forward slash Rosa the Ultra Tight. Smart viewers, thank you for your company today. Now, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples. May your heart be filled with happiness, courage, and love. Please see www. Please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash V E.